Pieter Ugwanga holds a bachelor's degree in economics but has not been able to find any decent employment since her graduation from the Namibia University of Science and Technology. According to Bieta, she has been unemployed for two years now after she and several colleagues were retrenched from the Fidesz Bank Namibia and now has to rely on her income as a street vendor to make ends meet. My name is Bieta Uwanga. I'm here at Nasti. I'm selling uh, fat cook and poloni. Sometimes at the summer time I'm selling ice and crude drinks and samosas. I graduated at, uh, 20, uh, in 2017 in Bachelor in Economics and I ended up not finding a job. I, start, I decided to start the business because what I, I made the research before I was studying here and I find out that uh, kids, uh, students, they only afford the two dollar things which is fat cook and polonies and a crude drink for ten dollars. They don't uh, really afford for things for 15 or 20 dollars. Setting up a business in front of her former university was not an easy task. Bieta says that she faced several challenges, such as routine evictions by NAST and the city police, as well as acquiring the main ingredients for her products, which she depends on to make an income to pay for her own and her daughter's school fees. Yeah, it is very challenging. I wake up at 5 o'clock and I sleep around 10 o'clock. So I prepare the dough and I go get my stock and sometimes I won't find the stock at the, the, the same shop I go. I have to take another taxi to find the product, especially at the Northern Industry in the $20. Sometimes I spend like $60 or $100 a day in transport. Yes, I have my daughter and she go to the private school So and also myself. I go to University of Namibia now, uh, doing an advanced diploma in secondary school. So I need to support myself to pay my school and my daughter. And I don't think I get enough money for this. I have my mother who's supporting me, my parents actually, supporting me in the uh, University of Namibia. Even though times may be hard for Bieta, she proudly wears her graduation gown and encourages other graduates in similar situations to become proactive by starting their own businesses. She also called on the government to assist unemployed graduates to secure business loans and decent employment.